we're going to talk about negative exponents. And so the rule that we have here is if you have a negative exponent like we have here, we can put the a to the n on the bottom of the fraction, and then it becomes positive. Or if you have something positive and you want to make it negative, you can put it on the bottom as well. So anytime you're bringing something across this division bar, it's going to change that from positive, negative, or negative to positive, depending on what you have here. It, in general, you usually don't want to leave something in terms of negative exponents. You actually want to go ahead and write it as a positive exponent. So that's what we're going to do for these examples here. So the first one is, simplify the given expression. We have 6 to the negative 2. So we're going to use our rule that we have here. So 6 to the negative 2 is going to be equal to, following the formula we here, we have 1 over 6 to the 2. Okay, and so then now it's written as a positive exponent. That's how this property works. And of course, we can finish this off by getting 1 over 36. That's how we would evaluate that one. Uh, we're going to do the same thing for this next problem here. This time we have an x, but the property works whether this is a number or whether it's a variable. It still works. So the way we'll do that, though, is we'll take 12 and we'll do that separately. Just leave that out front. This is multiplication because these are both written together like this. x to negative 6 you can write as 1 over x to the 6th. And so that's turning this x part into a positive exponent. What we have here is really like negative 12 over 1. So you'll multiply across the top, across the bottom. We get negative 12 over x to the 6th. And we just leave our answer like that. That's written as positive exponents. Okay, this next one, we have 9 to the 0. Anything that's raised to the power of 0 is 1. So we just have a 1 out front there, and we can change this one into a positive exponent. That'll be one over seven to the positive two. And then we can evaluate that one times anything is itself. So really what we have is one over 49, and that would be the answer. This next one is a very similar problem. Again, we have 14 to the power of zero. That would be equal to one. And then here, x to negative 3, we can use the property there and write it as 1 over x cubed. And 1 times anything is itself, so we could just leave our answer as 1 over x cubed, and that would be it. For this last one, we're going to add the exponents because this is the product rule for exponent, exponents we can use here. So multiplying two things with the same base, you're going to add the exponents. We have negative 6 plus 4, and that's going to give us 7 to negative 2. But then, of course, we want to write this as a positive exponent. And then we would just write it this way, 1 over 7 squared, which is equal to 1 over 49. And that's what we would leave as our answer after we evaluate it. 